Hey everybody, welcome to Back Issues, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So Black Widow is a movie that is like 10 years too late, but I'm glad it's here. <laughs> And it's about time. time. It's about At some time. point. Yeah, that's like an understatement, but it is true as hell. Like, it's <laughs> about time there's a black woman. Let's wait until she dies. Then we'll give her a movie. Yeah. Great it's idea. A, there's a send-off. Yeah, yeah, great send-off. <laughs> what a and great idea. did you idea. want more great stories before she died? Uh, I, I guess. Here you go. Thanks. Here's one. The last one. The only one you're gonna get. Yeah. So we're talking about Black Widow. She's had a story history. She's been around for a long time, and... I could have grabbed any number of things, but I figured, why not just do the book they made because they were making a movie? <laughs> well, is it good? Yes. Okay. It's written by Kelly Thompson, with art by Elena Casagrande and Rafael de la Torre. All right, so it's pretty recent. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the movie was delayed, so the book came out, and then there was no movie, right. and then there still was no movie. Oh, no, how did Marvel survive yeah. the sales? How did they make it? I don't know. Well, yeah, they just... Yeah, they, they were expecting that. for the movie to come out, and for everyone right. to be like... I need to buy the comic now. Yeah, because yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. The movie comes out, the throngs of people who have been addled by the experience just rush to the local comic book store and they pick up every issue. And the comic book industry is saved every single year by the cinema industry. Thank you. No. Uh, I don't know how they managed to survive. It was just a good book as a result. Oh, no. Mm. Did it sell? Uh, it sold okay. No, oh, okay. You know, it's a Black Widow book. I'll right. say this. It still came out like after the Marvel craze when yes. all the movies were happening. So, right. like, yeah, people will buy it. Yeah, but yeah. there are probably more Black Widow fans by the time this book came out than mm. there ever had been before. Yeah. So, yeah. But you, you've seen a lot of different Black Widow stories. And in fact, uh, we prepped about a month or so ago for uh, another show we do to see Black Widow cameos. So you've seen her throughout the histories yep. in different incarnations. And all of them are kind of marginalized and not terribly uh, exciting. Um, which is why it was like, oh, like when uh, in Iron Man Two, Black Widow. Oh, like, oh, there she is. Hey, yeah, hey, it's Black Widow. Right, and cool. it's like, yeah, you you At could you could absolutely get away with cramming Black Widow into an Iron Man Two. Absolutely, back then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kelly Thompson's another great writer that Marvel has and completely neglects. Uh, mm. She also worked on Captain Marvel, and she had a nice long run on Captain Marvel. She wrote Deadpool. And did a great job on Deadpool for it was before it was unceremoniously canceled. Mm. Yeah, they canceled, canceled Deadpool? Deadpool. Kelly Thompson's trying to do a different kind of thing. There was another Black Widow book I was going to do. It was one of the old '80s original graphic novels that came out during the shooter era, and I'm like, nah. Maybe one day, but not, no. not good. It'll be no. It's just like it's. Hey, she's a spy. It's a spy adventure. James Bond, but a woman, right. you know, and that's cool, and I appreciate that. And that's, if you are reading Black Widow, that's why you're reading Black Widow. Right. Uh, Brubaker loved having Black Widow in his run on Captain America, uh, especially when Bucky ascended, because Black Widow and Bucky were banging. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Black Widow has uh, actually had dalliances with a number of Avengers, from uh, Bucky Barnes to Clint Barton, in fact. Uh, they actually worked together back when they were both kind of bad guys mm. in their earlier Marvel histories. Uh, but, yeah, I remember reading this and being like, is there, you know, fucking Black Widow and Hawkeye, movie, synergy, blah. And then uh, going back and being like, oh, actually, they've been together for, like, a long... There is a long storied history between those two characters. Okay. Fine, I get it. Because I'm kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm more of a shipper for Matt Murdock and uh, uh, Natasha. Yeah. yeah. Because, because that's what you remember. That's what I remember, <laughs> is that she was a supporting cast member in Daredevil. And right. it's like... Yes, for like 40 so issues, she was a Daredevil supporting cast member before she was like, I'm out. And it's, I don't know, it wasn't her, she's a fictional character, but whatever <laughs> person at the time was like, no more Black Widow in our Daredevil, get out of here. Maybe it was weird, you know, because he's like a street level lawyer and he's sleeping with a ex-Soviet spy. Right. And it's like, what is this? Like maybe it took 46 issues for them to go, what, what, what are we doing? <laughs> maybe, what? Well, that's maybe it enough. took 46 yeah. issues for them to be like, um, Matt, you're never going to change. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I am an ex-KGB spy. And you're never going to change, Matt. <laughs> you're right. Well, well, you know, that's me. I'm Matt Murdock, <laughs> the Marvel Universe's biggest hypocrite. <laughs> Maybe Black Widow likes to sleep in on Sundays, and Matt's like, we got to go to church. That's right. Hey, get up. <laughs> I don't, I can't. I hate having this conversation every single week. What do you think we're going to be doing on Sunday? I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. You know what? Natasha, it's over. She probably wants to, like, travel. Right. You know, because she, she is used to that. She does, yeah. And he's like, 
but I'm I gotta I gotta do Daredevil but, stuff. But my city. This is New York. I, yeah. It's Hell's, Hell's Kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. Not this even is, the whole city. Yeah, yeah, this one kitchen. new area. Yeah. yeah, they're used to me being here. Spider-Man doesn't give a fuck about Hell's Kitchen. Like it'll go to shit if I'm not here. <laughs> He'll swing by. Because Spider-Man does protect the whole city. He he can do it too, because he's got a webbing and spider strength. Nah, he won't do it right. Yeah, sure, Matt. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, Peter does not have a fanatical devotion to this one area where the Javits is. Sorry, That's true. Matt. Plus, like, I assume Matt Murdock has to put in tons of hours as a lawyer. Yes. And yeah. legal defense cases and things. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you can't be Daredevil all the time. So no. when you're Daredevil, you're like, oh, shit, I gotta catch up on my Daredeviling. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thompson knows if you're gonna buy a Black Widow book, you gotta see some spy shit. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that she is circumventing your expectations. Right. She's not gonna do a lot of spy shit in this book, necessarily, but she is right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I... This book is a movie from the 90s. Dude. I'm gonna wait until one of you yells the title. <laughs> Long Kiss Goodnight. Yes. What? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have gotten that because I never saw that movie. Right. It's good. You should see it. <laughs> well, I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, she goes up to the floor of a apartment complex. Yeah. Kicks off her boots because she's wearing heels. One of those things that, like, you notice if you are a woman or into fashion where it's like all these heroes all these female heroes wear heels yeah you, you, you're you jumping off rooftops and you're doing flips and stuff no friggin way you can't do that and Thompson's yeah. like that's right no no she wears that for style and to show off her calves <laughs> but then she kicks off the boots and then goes to town and kicks the shit out of all these dudes in the hallway and we get this fun kind of like action sequence where she is aided by Hawkeye mm. who is also assisting and we see that like isolated through little panels of what Hawkeye's doing with his bow. So I like the idea that she, uh, this kind of goes to the movie mm -hmm. where like she used to be a KGB agent. She was like trained for that kind of stuff. Yeah. The whole ballet stuff like she right. kicks off the, the red room. She's, yeah. She's better barefoot. That's true. Yeah, that's mm. true. That's a good point. It, she makes a point of being like, it's just, it's in the safe. That's so lame. <laughs> the, the target is in the safe. <laughs> but but you're never supposed to keep it in the safe. Right. The safe is a decoy. Exactly. Right. But she breaks it in the safe, no, she is, gets it. This is New York. This is actual safe. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, this is... <laughs> we call it a safe for a reason. It's safe in there. It's safe in there. Yeah. We're, We're not going to keep it in the mattress? <laughs> Christ. Right. I'm not an idiot. But so she uh, she needs extraction. Hawkeye's already on the other, other side of the building. He shoots an arrow, uh, sends a zip line. Um, they're they're kind of testy. Is mm. she the only one inside the building? Was he taking that like people yeah, from across was, the he way? Yeah, he was like yeah. shooting through the windows and stuff. That's right. That's oh, right. Nice. Yeah. Eh, they're, they're, they're on the outs. Hmm. They're you know? working together, but they're right. But well, like, but he's letting their kind of relationship get the better of him, uh, or their lack thereof. Right. Okay. okay. It's just it's just this thing where it's like Clint's in a testy place. You know, like he shoots the arrow, like it, it's like right next to her face, but oh. because she doesn't just, need to be, it doesn't need to be, and she knows she could avoid it. It's not like he's trying to kill her right. or put her in any danger. But and she's like, like, if you wanted to hit message. her, he could hit her. Yes. But like, if she wanted to avoid it, she could. Yes. But it's just an unnecessary closeness. Yeah, it's a dick move, you might say. <laughs> so he fires it. She meets up, and when she gets to the rendezvous point, which is just the other rooftop, uh, she's met by Captain America. And Steve's like, hey. I don't know who was capped the whole time. No, yeah. He's like, I know a bow and arrow. Yeah, are you kidding me? I mastered that. I, I was a Boy Scout. Why <laughs> would you master bow and arrow? Uh, because I had, like, lots of time in my hands. <laughs> it was the 1930s. Yeah. Yeah, I kicked it. Yeah, before I got the super soldier serum, I was an expert archer. Oh. I could only draw, like, a 15-pound bow because I was a weakling. Yeah, but then it, it's like when you, like, walk around with weights and then you can, like, kick higher. You know, like, yeah. I was a weakling and I was a master at the bow. Then I got the serum. I can sling arrows with the best of them. I'm the Legolas of the U.S. Army. Anyway, Clint's already left. She's like, hey, where's Clint? He's like, oh, he uh, he uh, had to go. She's like, it's okay. Like, I know that he's, like, mad at me. He's like, okay. Anyway, don't. Good. Don't ask me these questions yeah. if you know. Yeah. I don't well, want to have these conversations. Yeah. I'm not here for this. Yeah. <laughs> but What uh, are you here for, then? But he's part of the, the mission. Yeah, the mission. So she hands him the device and then she... And then she leaves. And she goes to her apartment and she's like, she's outside of her apartment and she sees upstairs and she's like, I already know that somebody's broken into my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. so she goes up there, she uh, she does her spy thing where she like takes the bulb out of the hallway light so that it's darker in the hallway. Mm. Uh, and uh, she apparently every day when she leaves her apartment, sets up like the tape and the hair trick. So she's like, oh, okay. Yeah. So she goes out the window of the hallway and then goes through the window of her apartment to get, you know, whoever's in there. She's right. like, can I get the element of surprise? She is immediately blasted in the face with light mm. and then 
hit in the neck with darts, and she falls out the window. Oh. Someone laid a trap for her. That's right. They yeah. knew that she was going to know that they were in there, and then she was going to try to sneak in through the window. Three months later, we go to San Francisco, where uh, there is this, like, building construction going on. Some uh, foremen and workers are discussing these issues they're having with the plans for this building. Mm -hmm. And uh, seemingly Black Widow walks up with coffee, and she brought these, these plans, and she's seemingly a civilian. Mm, and she like busts. an architect? Yes. She like, always wanted to be an architect. That's, she, she, don't you know she's always wanted to pretend to be an architect? And maybe Kelly Thompson's a Seinfeld fan. I don't know. <laughs> because she absolutely is pretending to be an architect. <laughs> and awesome. what's, what's, what's funny is, unlike George, she's good at it. Right. Well, because she's Black Widow. Yes. She's so she mastered so, it. Yeah. Yeah. And she's going to have a real problem with someone who wants to be a city planner. That's right. Yeah. No! <laughs> so she offers the solution to the plans. And as she's talking about it, the, like, cardboard holster for the coffee like blows in the wind because they're in an open yeah. construction area on the top floor of this high rise and it like starts to float off of the side of the building and she catches it in midair and it's established like she is she like stretches out stretches out and is holding on to like a pilar for like a second and everyone in the room is like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> like she's not harnessed in or anything yeah. no She's Just like risking her life to grab this piece of trash. Yeah, she goes, the I day is saved. I will not pollute. That's right. They, she goes, the day is saved. And he's like, from litter? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. You know how much we would get fined for this yeah, stuff no. if it yeah. fell on somebody? No, her foreman's like, can you please never do that again? And for God's sake, wear this hat when you're here. And it's the mm. hard hat. She's like, I will never wear that hat. Goodbye. <laughs> it's a construction site. Yeah, you oh, are legally hex. obliged like, to wear that hat. Yeah. Y I don't care if you're a visitor or if you own the fucking place, you wear it. That's right. So this she is, leaves. This is Black Widow uh, setting a bad example for people. Yeah, for workplace safety. Yeah. She is shaking hands with danger. She's one of... <laughs> Shake hands with danger. I was going to say, she's uh, she's an adrenaline junkie. She's one of those people that like free climbs things and doesn't have harnesses. And, this like, is true. Stands at the tops of buildings. Yeah, she does that, but usually to kill like a spy. But yes, also that. Well, because she's a civilian now. Right. They just call her Nat. Which is what everyone else calls her anyway, but yeah. So she's walking through uh, the city. She sees this like motorcycle for sale. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a word on the street report going on. She walks in the background of the camera. So she's broadcast on TV uh, and the bike catches her eye and she's like, oh, I like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she doesn't know why. Uh, meanwhile, at Bedford Stuyvesant's Hawkeye's watching TV. This drives me nuts. Where I'm like, Hawkeye's just happens to be watching TV and he's watching the convenient news report. Right. In a different state. In a different state. And he sees her walk through. And he sees her walk shot. through. And you know, he's, he's, he's blown away. He takes a picture of it. He sends it to Bucky. Yeah. He, this should be something where like someone sends it to him. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. A S.H.I.E.L.D. agent just like, we always monitor the news channels. Exactly. Hey, did you know that Nat's in California? Yeah, but we, I mean, I get that, like, Thompson is doing some, some, some time saving. Yeah, compressing. Them. Compressing the story yeah. so that we can get to the good stuff faster. Right. Which I get, uh, but, uh, but I'm, I, I'm like, maybe Clint should be scouring the news for her or something, but he's just, he's clearly just watching TV. He's eating right. pizza, he's drinking beer, like, and then he calls We Bucket. wanted a spit take, okay? That's it, that's it. Yeah. Which is fine. It's it played for humor. Yucks were had. He calls up uh, Bucky and he's Bucky hangs up on him. I'm busy. He's like, uh. So he texts the picture that yeah, he took I was on say, the TV. Just text him, man. Yeah. What are you calling? Wait, what, what are you, a psychopath? <laughs> yeah, this is the 21st century. You yeah. don't yeah. call people, no, right? Never and, call. And you've been you your 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 clock's been dialed back. You don't have any excuse. Like Clint Barton, Bucky Barnes, they've got to be in their late twenties. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially Bucky. Yeah, Bucky's in his <laughs> late 100s. <laughs> yeah, Bucky would call. Yeah, maybe, Bucky would call. Because he doesn't get it. Right. Yeah, Bucky and Cap talk time. all the time. Right, on the phone yeah. with, a, with a cord. What are you up to, Steve? <laughs> so Clint texts the picture to Bucky, and then Bucky immediately calls back. Clint mm. does like a little countdown, five, four, ha, ha. Right. Because both Clint and James love Nat. Right. Uh, there's not going to be like a love triangle or anything. It's no. just... Kelly Thompson knows that there is a the history, romantic history between these three characters. Right. And all these people carry the baggage with them. You know, yeah. if your ex-girlfriend was a spy and you were a superhero and she was missing for three months and you saw her on TV, 
You'd bring your baggage with you to save her. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but if she's a spy, she's hiding well, out. That's what they're thinking, right? They're like, but they never heard from her. She didn't report to anybody about this. Right. And Clint finds this suspicious because she let herself get fi- get filmed. Mm. Right? Like usually she she would never have wandered, wandered through, into yeah. a shot. Well, she wants to be found. Right. Oh yeah, and that's what Clint thinks. Like maybe she's maybe she's in trouble and she's like doing she's making rookie mistakes deliberately mm-hmm. to get the attention of somebody but he also knows that like this is on TV like other people have seen it right you know the people that maybe are hunting her or are keeping her captive right. maybe they know it too so mm. they know that time is of the essence so James and Clint uh, jump into action they're like we gotta go to San Francisco off we go uh, meanwhile fuck whatever we're doing right now exactly it's over well clearly you know Nothing. Well, yeah, at least in Hawkeye's case. Bucky's doing some Winter Soldier shit. Yeah. But, you know, he can wrap that up because he's a murderer. So <laughs> he doesn't have to be like, oh, how will I stop them without killing them? No, he's just like, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll be, see, you, <laughs> see you in San Francisco. This was going to take the exact amount of time whether I had something else to do or not. Exactly. I just wanted to hang up on you. It's... Because you fucked my girlfriend. It's... It's like, more like you fucked my girlfriend. Okay. Oh. Okay, oh, well... Oh, we're not doing this again. <laughs> So uh, there in San Francisco, is uh, Venom going to show up? Oh, or, no. Know, leave the protector in here? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I think at this point, Donny Cates is doing his whole null thing with Venom. Uh, so, no. Nor, oh, man. Do we go underground? I wish we could go city? underground. I mean, every time they go to San Francisco, because like San Francisco is not the backdrop to most Marvel properties. Right. It'd be great if every time they go to San Francisco, <laughs> there's like diggers or a <laughs> secret underground city, or it's like, you know, how did you find me? Well, there's a network of underground, like time kept people yeah. who live there, and they they, they yeah, hear it's all, they see all, yeah. they live off of gas. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's like what? Yeah. Well, it's only in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, from the earthquakes. In the, in the ruins of the old world. <laughs> yeah, the you know, city sank underground or something. Or something. The they built a new one on top yeah. of it. There's, there's, but the, the, where do those people go? They live there. Yeah. Actually, it's, no, it's only homeless people that created a society. It's not, they're, yeah. not, they're not like frozen in time like Captain America. <laughs> so Natalie buys the friggin' motorcycle, which mm. must have cost a fortune. But she's like an architect. She's an architect. She's got a lot of money. Yeah. So, Does she have yes. a motorcycle license? No. Why would they sell it to her? <laughs> because she's hot and has the money. Yeah. I get that, but like, you gotta title that shit. I don't know if you're buying a bike of that caliber uh, expense, they probably don't ask too many questions. All right. It was in the window of the <laughs> store. Like, it was, it was like it was, it was a museum bike. piece yeah. that she yeah. bought that one. These are, uh, these are Keanu Reeves uh, motorcycles. Yeah, from like John Wick? Oh no, the, the motorcycle company he has. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that Keanu Reeves had a motorcycle company. I think he started one. Oh, that's I'm pretty cool. Pretty sure he started one. Well, we don't know these celebrities whipping up their little their little cottage industries. You know, like Ryan Reynolds has like a cell phone company. Keanu Reeves is making yeah. motorcycles. Wait, I George Clooney's doing had God knows gin. what he's doing. Yeah, he has he that too. He also has that. And a cell phone company? Yeah. Well, they all. I mean, everybody has got some kind of booze. Yeah. But having an actual like mechanical product, that's the new. Oh, that's the new hotness. Yeah, for celebrity ownership of things. Mm. You don't have to be in movies and crap. You don't have to work. No. If- <laughs> Yeah, you well, just own a thing and then hire people to sell it. That's true. So Natalie rides this sweet, awesome motorcycle that she absolutely should not have been able to procure uh, <laughs> to her amazing house with her very sexy fiancé, I should say. Oh. oh. And, Whoa, uh, what? Yeah. yeah. How many months has it been? Three. Wow. So, I guess he put a ring on it. <laughs> damn right. It's Black Widow. Why not? <laughs> so she rides up and he's like, I didn't know you could ride a motorcycle she's like yeah i didn't either i just saw it and was like yeah i gotta have this got on it boom it was like riding a bike ha 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 and he's like well you bought this very expensive thing without talking about it i think you should be punished she's like oh yes i do <laughs> and it's like oh it's and we get sexy times <laughs> like they she just jumps into his lap and makes that and we're like what the fuck <laughs> and then just when you're thinking like what the fuck it pulls back and they're being monitored and x-men villain arcade is there watching it and he's like and he's talking to someone, some clandestine group, and he's like, this is boring and sucks. This is a waste of my talents. I created Murder World. I make giant, elaborate pinball machines <laughs> to kill X-Men. This is a waste of my talents. And they're to, like, make a, to make a sex house for the Black Widow. No. I'm sorry, he made this? Well, he just, he, he created, he engineered the circumstances by which Natasha would be kept safe or kept 
under lock and key. Kept right. captive. Yes. Without knowing. Without even knowing it. Right. Okay. But he also is whinging about it because it's a waste of his talents. Right. Because Arcade is theatrical and a douche. And we'll be like, every single time Arcade There's ever no flashy sp- lights. There's no giant... Bumpers. There's also no big TV that that lowers from the ceiling that has his visage on it going, ha, 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 ha. Didn't like, you know you were my captain? Yeah, he, there's no moment like that. Nor is there in this book wasted opportunity. Because oh. the, the it's actually a group of villains that all hate Black Widow working together. Sure. And I wish that, like... It all gets fucked because Arcade lowers a TV <laughs> down and he goes like, you're in my clutches! And they're like, Arcade, what the fuck, man? And they're like, that's what... And one of them's like, that's what you get when you hire Arcade. Yeah. You, that's gonna happen. That, that we, we knew that this was a You risk. knew this was going to happen. You, you knew this was at least... There was a non-zero yeah. percent chance. You got Arcade... What did you think? He was just going to sit on this? I, I thought if we paid him enough money, he was just going to stifle it. No. He doesn't do this for the money. He does this because he's insane. You could have paid him nothing. Yeah. I could have paid him nothing? Yeah. No. Son of a bitch. Yeah. You blew your entire transit budget on this. So anyway, by the way, I should also point out that uh, all the covers for this, like the, the art inside is really cool. Casa Grande and De La Torre do a great job of telling the story and giving you this kind of like, human adventure you know there's not a lot of crazy bullshit there's no giant robots despite arcades involvement (laughs) it's just folk kicking and punching and it's really fun Uh, but adam hughes does some really really dope covers except for this cover (laughs) and i don't know why like it was the first issue cover i'm not a fan they put Mm. it on the trade there are so many awesome covers in this book issue two has this amazing like this collage of her wielding a silencer gun her shooting while jumping off a motorcycle in san francisco this like collection that great bike she bought i know this this, this collection of bullets and one of the bullets is a lipstick i'm like that's just that's so so bond that's that's james bond shit right there that's so hot i'm like that is so cool i love it why isn't that's that cool. the cover? Instead, it's just this awkward position of her being like, ha ha. I'm like, this, this, no she's human can anything. do this. Why is she bleh? Like, what is that? It's like she's sitting in a chair. Yeah. Looks like she's casting a spell. Right. Alakazam. <laughs> Even then, it's like the genius of Hughes. Like, he puts in like this, like some of her hair, like one piece of hair goes into her face. Mm. It's like every every girl takes a selfie. It's like, fuck, a piece of hair is in my face. I got to freaking Photoshop that shit out. But like, he's like, or it's in know. your mouth. It's, it, it, listen. She's doing that pose. You know, she's got yeah. long hair. It's going to go someplace. Yeah. And I'm going to capture the imperfection of her perfect. Like, cool, but like, no, that's not the problem. The problem is this weird, awkward pose she's in that I don't care for. Does it when happen better all covers. in the book? No. Maybe he was looking at acrobats yes. doing something he's like oh that's an actual pose yes. like someone you know oh it, no doubt and like it's a transitioning to another position yes and the, you know d- yeah, and he did captured that it. Yeah. yeah it's just it's just it's, it's not it's not the best out of all the yeah. covers but it looks weird though but it looks weird though and it's like it doesn't fit you're trying to sell this goddamn thing what are you doing and it's like i get it but like maybe if yeah, you're but like sal look there's her logo in the background <sighs> see it's genius yeah it's brilliant <laughs> you nailed it she's in her house She's walking around the kitchen. Hey, she's in Sausalito. That's right. That's also a cookie. <laughs> she's in her beautiful, what amazing brain house. Does. I'm sorry. That's fair. She's that's why you're here. <laughs> uh, she's with her beautiful, amazing uh, boyfriend, fiance. Yeah. Yeah. You know, she's getting coffee. They're making out. They're getting things from the refrigerator. They're being viewed through binoculars, and mm. Clint and James are just watching. And they're like, "Okay, so we've been watching for like a day or so, and like, I don't, I don't know what the angle is." <laughs> Like yeah. she's, she's, it looks fine. Th- th- there's no like undercover. I mean, like she's undercover, but like she's just she's just fucking this guy. Like yeah. there's no there's no like end game. <laughs> right. Well, there's an end game. All right, we're gonna go beat up that guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, screw that guy. <laughs> so she's in the garage. Like, who am I? Right. What? She in, she's not there yet. She does definitely go that down that route. But uh, you know, she's she's in the bike. Clint just walks up. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, hey, it's a friend, right? His but friend, yeah. yeah, but he's doing a he's doing a thing. Oh, he's well, he doesn't like, go like, hi, Nat. No, he's like, hi, <laughs> nice bike. She's like, yeah. He's like, I'm. I was just walking by and I saw your bike. I'm sorry. She's like, oh, do you like bikes? He's she's like, like, I've never seen you in the neighborhood. Right, like spice right. It'd be amazing, but no, she's just like. She, instead, she's this is still her in like domestic mode from the three month, mm. you know, gap, and uh, and she's just kind of like, well, I'm Natalie, and it's like, oh, that's kind of an homage because. Her 
one of her aliases back in like the 70s was Natalie Rushman, which ah. is actually an alias they used in Iron Man 2. That was her alias when she infiltrated Stark Industries. Mm. And I was like, Natalie Rushman? Oh, that's in a Spider-Man comic I read. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I know that name. So they, have, they make small talk about bikes and basically Clint uses the conversation to try and drop opportunities for Natasha to indicate in some way right. that she's in trouble, that she knows who he is, that she's on a mission and doesn't want his help. Right. And instead it's just a banal back and forth where she talks about how great her life is and how much she's enjoying it and mm. how and what she does. You know, right. She's an architect and all this stuff. And while they're talking, her son walks in the room. What? what? All right, I'm going to like, stop you right here. <laughs> Because that is the best PJ set I've ever kid. I know. Kid I, I love it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. He, he's just a little shark boy. <laughs> and he's got like a fin on the back. Yeah. It yeah. may be a hood. I have no idea. But it's just mm -hmm. this giant mouth on his yeah, torso. It's just, it's just yeah. a fin. Yeah. It's Fucking awesome. love it. Yeah, it's great. The kid is at least one. Okay. Yeah, he's walking. He's walking and he's starting to talk. Okay. And he's so got red like hair. Two. And he's got red hair like her. Like she does. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. So... Steve walks in the room and he's like her little escape artist. That's what, that's what she calls him. Because he, you know, you put him down for gets bed. Gets out of his crib. Out of his crib. Yeah. Yeah. She picks him up and she's like, well, Clint, this is Steve. Say hi to Clint. And he's like, hello. <laughs> uh, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> but before he leaves. But it's been three months. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's uh, yeah, what the hell. <laughs> then James, her fiance, comes in and he's like, hey, honey, I, what's this? Oh, what's this attractive blonde person doing here? He isn't like that, but he's right. like, hello. What's up? Hey, guy. I, hey, guy in my <laughs> wife's garage. I enjoy that yeah, Clint's yeah. clothing is always, like, Purple. themed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just want you to remember, I'm yep. Hawkeye. Don't forget. Right. Well, like, this is my Hawkeye jacket. I used to have a very elaborate purple costume, and <laughs> thanks to the movies, it had to be streamlined because it's ridiculous looking in real life. Uh, because that way, any moment that Clint Barton is doing anything, it could be his Hawkeye costume. Right. You know, any decision you make in the movies is a Hawkeye costume, and yeah. So it's like, is yeah. it a jacket with some purple on it? Boom, Hawkeye, Hawkeye. costume. Or yeah. it could just be like, all right, I'm on my day off, and I'm in like jeans and a t-shirt. Yep. Oh no, I have to be Hawkeye. Yeah. I guess I'll be Hawkeye in jeans and a t-shirt. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Well, my t-shirt has a Hawkeye logo on it. Yeah. It could just be a t-shirt. It or never is. Nothing's purple except I put my sunglasses on, and those are purple. Boom. Nailed it. Hawkeye. That's fine. I'll take that. <laughs> if Sometimes. like the purple lenses did something where it like no. like the amber lenses do where it's better for visual acuity. <laughs> right. Nope, they're just purple. <laughs> I just see everything in purple. It's actually worse. It's worse, but I'm that good. Yeah. So anyway, he introduces himself to the baby and then he just goes back in the bushes. <laughs> he like, uh, goes it back to Bucky. He's like, I don't know what the fuck uh, to do, homina, man. Homina, yeah, and he uh, goes, so there's a baby now. And Bucky's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I was I saw it all. And he's like, Yeah, it's named Steve. And he's like, that's weird. Her, her fiance's name is James. And the baby's name is Steve. Like, there's references to all of her life. But, like, I, I, don't, I don't know what's up. And Clint's like, I'm kind of freaking out. Yeah. Like, oh, right. Bucky's name is James. Yeah. Yeah. Clint's like, where am I in all this? Yeah. Where's Clint? Clint? He does have that problem. He, he has that existential crisis at the end of the book. Oh, <laughs> God. It's always about Clint. She and James are going out. We introduced to the babysitter named Helen, who is this... Very distinct looking girl. Uh, incredibly hair. distinct looking girl. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the way she is dressed, her outfit, the mm -hmm. hair, the yeah. face she makes. Yes. So well, she's somebody. Oh, definitely. Yeah, okay. she is She is incognitous. Mm. And uh, she's doing a great job because it's like you're looking at all the other stuff. Right. So you don't look at here, like the person you know. Mm. Uh, but she's looking at Natalie like, what? <laughs> What's going on here? I'm figuring mm. this out too. So Arcade has cameras everywhere. Clint and James don't know that. Right. And so he tells the group, you know, like, listen, we got the Hawkeye's Winter Soldier here. and yeah. Hawkeye watching her. And they're like, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, we knew that that was going to happen. Oh. But if anything happens, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. But right. for now, just don't worry about it. Just, just, just don't worry about it. But who's the babysitter, though? We don't know anything about the babysitter. No one recognizes the babysitter. And he's like, I hate this. I enjoy these, <laughs> ominous, these <laughs> ominous figures. Um, this one in the bottom kind of looks like uh, Dr. Robotnik. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dr. Robotnik's in the book. Fucking Ben spoiled the book. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right. Oh, so it's Sonic! It actually is a secret Sonic crossover with Marvel. 
<laughs> I knew it. I knew I'd guess the movie. <laughs> yeah. That'd be, uh, that'd be quite a twist. That'll be, that'll be the biggest twist in any Marvel comic of all time. Yeah, they'll be just like, all right, I, get, I was making a stupid joke. And, and it happened somehow again. It's that God no! damn it. Like, okay, so you just pregame these things now. You just read the books, and then you pretend, and you, at any opportune times, you're like, this happens, right? Yes. I'm, I'm the biggest comic book nerd you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm the secret nerd. Yeah. It's me. James goes and does his thing. The fiance James. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, James. Right. And, uh, it's confusing. Yeah, and meanwhile, uh, Natasha uh, hears something going on, some commotion happening in an alleyway. Wait, uh, I thought they were going out together. Yeah, no. Oh. Like, they were. They were, because they're both dressed up, but, but then he has to leave. But places? Yeah. Or does he have to go to the office or something? Yeah, he shit? has to leave. Like, he has some, he, something comes up and he has to go. So okay. he gets into a cab and he, and he, and he leaves. Okay. So... Uh, Natasha finds a woman being uh, assaulted by a few guys mm. in the alley. Uh, w- the ringleader, I guess, is like, ah, oh, she's even hotter. Let's let's get her too. Right. And I love I love Natasha. She's just gross. <laughs> and then she just drops her. She drops her purse and she rips her clothes and she just goes into like attack mode. She takes right. off her necklace and turns it into like a weapon. I mm. love that she's wearing. Bracelets yes. that look like her Black Widow stingers. Uh huh. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and she just kicks the living shit out of them, you know, in a really fun display of action. Yeah. She uses the bracelets actually as like a way of seeing, like she reflects. Okay. Oh. It's like maybe she subconsciously chose those bracelets to like aid her right. in whatever she was going to be dealing with today. But uh, she ends up like kicking the crap at everybody and saving the day, and uh, you know calls nine one one and has them go on the scene. But she's like. What the hell just happened? Whoa, 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 what did I just do? Yeah, whoa, I just kicked ass and took names, but oh, like I don't weird. know any of them. So <laughs> she goes home and she meets up with Helen, and uh, Helen's like, the kid was great, but, you know, he he's a little Houdini. Like, I put him down, I look, I check on him, he's disappeared, mm. I go find him again. You know, she's like, yeah, he does that. <laughs> uh, so she's like, hey, are you okay? Your dress is ripped. She's like, oh yeah, it got caught in the, got caught in the door. Mm. So don't worry about it. You're so, lying to the babysitter now. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, what's become you of You never me? lie to the babysitter! <laughs> Yeah. Then the cat comes in the room because Kelly Thompson loves cats. Mm-hmm. Gambit is a big cat fan. She wrote Rogue and Gambit. Natasha has a cat in her civilian life. The cat's name is Logan, by the way. Mm. She, has a, she has a history with Wolverine. Oh. I didn't know that. So there's always a connection to someone else in her. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Every creature mm-hmm. in this, in this domestic life bliss has a has connection. Has a name. It's, there's no Murdoch. There's no Matt. There's oh. no Daredevil at all. What's, and, the, what's the babysitter's name again? Helen. Helen. So, is there a Helen in her life? No. Uh, no. Okay. And no. The babysitter's the odd man out. Well, she didn't name the babysitter. Out. So. <laughs> no, but like. Well, the babysitter's not part of the well, husband. Well, no, but the organization didn't recognize the babysitter. She's right. not part She's of the She's not part of the, of the, plan. the whole thing. The cat definitely is. Oh, yeah. wait. The cat was The planted. babysitter isn't part of the evil organization? No, no. they were trying oh. to figure out who no, they were was. like, who's the, but we, you know, who cares? Uh, Arcade, shut up for a second. Does anybody have anything on this babysitter? Right. It's like they're making the Truman Show. <laughs> I didn't green light the babysitter. <laughs> So she puts the baby down to sleep uh, and someone's watching her on a like, you know, closed circuit TV and uh, it's obviously the Red Guardian, her ex-husband Alexei from the Winter Guard. Oh. That's right. Black Widow used to be married to the Red Guardian. I didn't know that. Neither did I. Yeah. Uh, And I doubt that'll be the case in the movie. Mm. He is in it. He is in it and it's David Arbor, but he's... Got to do a bad Russian accent. We assume it's her dad. Yeah. Well, or something. <laughs> it's not necessarily evil, but, you know, because Red Guardian's involved and he's yeah. not like a villain. Right. Per se. Hmm. So, uh, Natasha leaves the baby. She takes the baby monitor with her and she goes into the, into, uh, the garage and she tinkers with it and just absently puts it all together and then goes, what, did it, what is this, a bomb? Did I just make a bomb? <laughs> Well, why did I make a bomb? Ah. <laughs> Yeesh. Also, how did you make a bomb out of a baby monitor? Right? She's just that good. Well, she's in the garage. She, There's I, some other I stuff. I presume she grabs other things, but yeah. like... You know, like a bomb. Right. And then puts it in the baby monitor. Oh, I just, you know, put some dynamite on it. Now it's a bomb. Yeah, boom. <laughs> she's in bed with her, with her fiancé. Uh, the baby, Steve, is in the room. Oh. She's like, hey. The. <laughs> and it's just, it's not like... The baby is a scroll or something. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, it's just that it takes after her. Right. Like, it's a spy. It's a spy baby. Because it's genetic? Yeah. 
being a spy is genetic. It's not sure. training. No. It's yeah. Well, no, it, it is born to it. The genetic is the, uh, the the access key to get into spy training. Yes. Like, oh, you're someone's kid. You're yeah, naturally, we'll train you. yeah, exactly. Well, you're naturally gifted. We just exploited that and made you into the world's best spy. Right. Did she dismantle yeah. the bomb? No. No, but the baby's not holding. The baby's holding their baby monitor, not the baby monitor not the she, bomb she was holding, monitor. not the other end. Yeah. She kept that bomb. That's that's, that's yeah. She she's put like, that I away. Need, I don't know why I made this, but uh, yeah, I made it. it and I, why did I do this? But she put it away. She didn't like just diffuse it and throw it away. Okay. Yeah, she makes that bomb. Check out. She's Chekhov's bomb. So, uh, it's been how many days? I don't know, like two. Right. But I love seeing Bucky and Winter Soldier just sitting in the bushes across right. the street. <laughs> And they're just talking about, like, what to do and whether they should do anything. Right. And then Yelena Belova, the other Black Widow, the blonde Black Widow, who yeah. is also Helen in disguise. Blonde Widow. Oh, that's Helen. Oh, blonde Widow, yeah. Oh, okay. She okay. shows up and she's like, hey. <laughs> Are you going to do anything? Yeah. Well, don't get involved. I checked it out. Ow. She's definitely living the domestic life. Like, she's not playing any game. I'm sorry. It should have been White Widow. Yeah. For alliteration. Right. I apologize. But it is blonde, black, you know, I don't know. In any case. Uh, like, the costume is exactly the same, except it's white. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's how you tell the difference. Mm. Also, <sighs> Yelena Belova Black Widow is, like, a complicated character as well. Mm. You're like, she was a villain. She was a clone. She's a robot. She's got, she's got all... She's a robot? She's got all kinds of bullshit. She's got a lot of baggage, especially mm. when Bendis is concerned. Because I remember, like... <laughs> Like, I remember there being another Black Widow. And it's like, we'll use her when we're doing something different with with Natasha, right? Like, we're... By the way, right. Yelena calls her Natalia because Yelena is also Russian and the, the Natalia is her, like, real name. Oh. So it's Natasha, Natalia... And uh, Natalie. Natalie. Jesus. I know. I guess she's a spy. She's she a spy. Have... She's got a lot of aliens. Yeah, but they're all similar. Yes. Like, shouldn't they be very different? Yeah. In Bendis' run of the New Avengers, they established that, like, she was in league with the Shadow Organization of S.H.I.E.L.D. to exploit Vibranium and the Savage Land. Oh. And then she turns into the Super Adaptoid and dies. Savage Land? It's Vibranium all the place. But, uh, <laughs> but Wakanda had like this unlocked. Yeah, yeah they, but they, have, also, they have the Great Mound. But like, it, it, was, it came from a friggin' rock that fell from the sky. The, the, the rock broke up. Broke into many pieces. pieces in smaller area. pieces landed in other places, yeah. Exactly. So... But anyway, last last time I checked in on, uh, on on this Black Widow, she was a bad guy and died, <laughs> and she just yeah. didn't anymore. Like they just brought right. her back, and like it's funny because Bendis is like, eh, continuity, whatever. I want to do my story, and it seems like people reflexively do that to Bendis, where they're like, I, I don't see a very good explanation for why she's not dead, and mm -hmm. people go, well, who gives a shit? He didn't care. Yeah, he didn't. Why should I? Yeah, and I'm like... He oh, didn't, he's Bendit. All right, but like, that's kind of dangerous thinking when you're doing an interconnected universe. But whatever, she's it's... back and she's a good guy because she's a good guy in the movie. <laughs> so, uh, she's now... Now there's three people sitting in the bushes. Mm. Is she part of Clint and Bucky's plan? No, she just like... She noticed that... That they were watching. That Natasha was missing oh, and yeah. saw the TV thing. She's and... doing the same thing as them. Yes. Separately. Yes. Yeah. So... Okay. Yeah. She, but she also, because she was the babysitter, she had access to the baby, and she's like, right. this is her life. The baby's hers. I checked the DNA. What? It is her baby. And they're what? like, But it's only been three months. She's like, I know it's fucking weird. <laughs> so, is it a clone baby? Right? Yeah, did they have it, like, in a lab just waiting? Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> just in, in case of emergency, make baby. <laughs> so, uh, Natasha's got to do her, uh, her dress fitting. Mm -hmm. So she's at this like bridal suite and she's just, you know, because she's only been three months and she has no history, she has no parents or family, so she's just, you know, doing this dress fitting alone. Right. And she's just kind of crying. Oh. Uh, Helen shows up. Oh, she shows up. Okay, I thought she invited her. No, no, yeah. I guess I'll invite the babysitter. <laughs> she's <laughs> the only other woman I know. Yeah, right. But no, in fact, uh, like, Helen comes by and she's like, hey, I saw you in the window. You know, it's a very flimsy story, but you yeah, sure. you seem to be a civilian, so you're not going to argue with me. Yeah. Um, you know, you seemed okay. Like, you seemed, like, sad. Let's talk. And she's like, no, my life's perfect. And they have this back and forth. Basically, she's like, my life is perfect. And I, I have this, but like, I feel like there is something inside of me mm. that is screaming. But I also know that it's everything I've ever wanted. And, you know, Helen sounds, Helen's like, that sounds like someone who's deeply unhappy <laughs> with what they're doing, uh -huh. with their choices. And she's right. like, yeah, I think that the screaming in my head is actually just 
my negativity disbelieving the, the salvation that I have. Mm. Or it's like, it's my insecurities telling me that I don't deserve this life. Mm -hmm. That's that's very fair. Yeah, and I'm like, that's interesting. Like, wow, what a real, like, and it's only two pages, but it's this mm. really great thing where it's like, people who are in a situation where they're unhappy and going through the motions of something that they feel like they have to do, you know, like telling, like convincing themselves that they want to do it. Yeah. Versus someone who actually does like have crippling insecurities and is like, sabotaging themselves from right. having a good life. Like, right. how do you how know do you the know difference? Which it is. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, hey, it's none of them. You're actually a secret spy. <laughs> and bad guys did this to you. It's actually nowhere near as relatable as either of those things. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yeah, but like maybe if you're reading this, it'll complicate your life even further. So, <laughs> so then we just, we just do a hard break. It's like, yeah, that is kind of relatable. And then we see the control room of dun, Arcade dun, dun. and it's all the super villains. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> And it's it's characters like Arcade and the Red Guardian, as we've oh. established, and Madam Viper and Snapdragon, an assassin who wields swords, and Weeping Lion. What? And Weeping Lion is a complicated character I don't want to get into because uh. I don't really know much about him aside from the it, fact that he's dead. It he also says 2.0. Yeah, well, because now Weeping Lion is like two people merged into one consciousness, so they're like arguing with himself. Doesn't matter. Weeping Lion should be dead, and there's no very good explanation as to how he's back. Mm -hmm. But there's also two of them in there. I get why they don't like Arcade because he's using a table that lights up. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Duh. It, I want a table like this. It's a cool visual, but you never want underlighting. It, no. it looks bad on everybody. Well, but unless you're villains. Yeah. You underlight villains, like Dracula right. and stuff. You know, they're all talking, and Madame Viper is like, why am I here? The whole point of us doing this virtually is so that I don't have to be here. <laughs> Like, why did we have this? Like, don't you know it's a pandemic? Yeah. <laughs> I noticed none of I noticed only some of you are wearing masks and you're wearing them cosmetically. Yeah. Your mouths are exposed. Yeah. <laughs> Assholes. But it's great because, like, they're having their meeting and she's just like, Arcade, I know, I know you're unhappy. Let it go, all right? Like, whatever. But, you know, they're having this argument in person and they're complaining about how Arcade, you know, must have pissed and moaned and, ha and called this meeting. And, uh, and Weeping Lion is like, No, I called this meeting. And they're like, What? Why? And he's like, I want you all to be here when we kill Black Widow. And they're like, we're not killing Black Widow. We we went through a lot of trouble and money and effort <laughs> to create this situation to matrix her. Mm. She's in her perfect life. That's so that she'll go away. It's been three months. She's happy. <laughs> yeah, and we've been like, like, yeah. And, and then we kill her. the matrix, oh. he breaks out. <laughs> no, Madam Viper is like, no. We Let's just leave her. We, we left, we set it all up. We like teed it up three months ago. Mm -hmm. And for three months, she's been doing her thing. Like she's happy, like genuinely and really happy. Mm -hmm. Like we succeeded. We'll never have to deal with Black Widow ever again. Is this a, is this a supervillain plan where they're like, look, if we just like mind wipe the yeah. superheroes and give them their perfect life, we don't have to deal about superheroes anymore. That's it's right. not just Black Widow. No, this, no she's it's like just Black Widow. They're <laughs> like, we've we we we've all been fucked by Black Widow and we all know that if we do anything in like Madge Rapport or with spy shit, Black Widow will show up and kick me in the face and I'm done with it. Yeah, so, that's why I agree with Weeping Lion on this. Be like, yeah, yeah we have her guard down. Yeah. Now we kill her. Uh, no, I, I, I agree with Madam in this Viper. position, they could have killed her. Right, yes, but they didn't. Why? Because the original plan was, be, because you can't. Of course you can't. Because Madame Viper's like, because every time we're almost ready to kill her, we don't. Like, she's almost aware she's in a comic book. She's like, no, because every single time we are about to kill her, Captain America shows up, Winter Soldier shows up, she snaps out of it. Right. No, it's easier if we just give her an out. We give her early retirement and we just leave her alone. Right. I mean... Even Bucky and Clint are there. Yeah, and they're like, maybe we should just leave her alone. Like, everyone's bought it. Right. And it's I, like, there's nothing else to buy. It's, it's not a bad option. It's, and Weeping Lion's like, I didn't die so that we could let her retire. <laughs> like, be happy. And they're like, yeah, but I you- I want revenge. Right, uh, but I'm crazy. And they're like, yeah, but like, you signed on for this. I and, was Weeping Lion. Someone's gonna snap her out of this eventually. Right. You, you can't keep this going indefinitely. I, I love it because they're all like, no. And he's like, well, Okay, so here's the deal. I already actually, like, I, I, I invited you all to watch her die because I thought you were all on the same page. And Madam Viper's like, no. Why would you think that? We are not all on the same page. I thought we were all on the same page with the leave her alone plan. Right. And he's like, no, I, I, I called people to kill her right now. I called you here so we could all watch and laugh. And Madam Viper's like, you've killed us. <laughs> 
<laughs> you stupid fool, you've murdered us all. I right. do enjoy that. Yeah. But if it's a house that Arcade built, can't it just like, you know, right, it blow should be, up or something? It's, it's, it's just or like, electrocutor. He, he arranged the situation. It's not like a murder house. <laughs> It's, it's but not it's should be. I know, it's not the cube. <laughs> no, that's why he's so unhappy. Yeah, he's like, this sucks. I didn't get to put in one kill device. Yeah, no. It's just cameras. Right, it's just it's cameras and like a voice activated refrigerator. <laughs> like, it's not anything worth a damn for right. me. Right. Nothing, there's nothing that's normal sized that is huge in my house. <laughs> it's bullshit. Uh, I gotta say, like, Weeping Lion is right, but not anymore. Like, they already missed the window. Yes. Like, the time to kill her was when they had hit her with the darts. Yes. And she was unconscious. That's like, well, then just shoot her in the head right. or yeah. stab her while yeah. she's uh, unconscious. Yeah, Weeping Lion's plan should have been to pretend like that was the plan. Right. To not kill her. And then when they get her, he just cuts her throat. Yeah. He's like, I'm like, sorry. See, we're in a comic book, so we have to have a plan where she won't die. Yeah. And be like, we're going to do it. And yeah. everyone thinks we're going to do it. And then yeah. we just kill her, like, right. quietly, unexpectedly. Like, behind a shed. Yeah. Here's the other amazing thing. What floor did she live on in the apartment? Because it's at least the second or the third. Mm. She just fell. Yeah. So they obviously had a plan to catch her. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They yeah. caught her. Yeah, they did. Definitely. But if you could do that, you could also kill her or, in the same plan. Or just not catch her. Yeah, just don't yeah. catch her. Just do that plan, but then don't catch her. And yeah. then you don't have to do anything. I agree. But, well, they, but, but she was falling like, in New York. Right. There's like no, a non-zero Spider-Man. percent chance that Spider-Man would have swung by and caught her. Uh, yeah. We had to get her before Spider-Man catches her. Yeah. That that is, amazing. His spider sense way. doesn't go off because there's already a net. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he, like, oh, I guess she's okay. Yeah, he wasn't triggered at all in any way because <laughs> they because she was never in any real danger. Okay, so the height that she's fall from is 50 feet. Right. We have, by our estimates, 20 feet in which to grab her before Spider-Man, Spider-Man kicks in. Off. And <laughs> and her. Yeah, no, it would never go off because the plan was flawless. Right, that's right. So he was she was never, never in any danger. Never in any so danger. His spider sense would never have gone off. Oh my god, I love this. But so it will only work if we're actually <laughs> we going do it, to catch her. If Weeping Lion does not. I need to catch her. His spider sense will go, go off. off. It knows. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We're, I love this because he's not even in the book. Like he doesn't factor in at all. No. But like yeah. But he would have. So Nat shows up at her house on her sweet motorcycle with her dress, and she complains about how she's like, "Why did I do that? Like it, the dress is wrinkled. Like I, motorcycles and wedding dresses don't mix. I should not have done that. Hey, she didn't oh, wear it home. That's all that well, matters. Well, that, that would be very like runaway bride. But she arrives and like. When she arrives, she immediately is like, everyone in my house is dead. What? Oh. She has that feeling. Like, the innate spy sense. Right. Like, everyone in the ha- that house is dead. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Okay, but they're not dead, right? No. Okay. No. But there are assassins in the house. And when, mm. she, when she, like, opens the door, she springs into action. We get another, like, kind of sweet move. But she does not take off her shoes. The guys that she's kicking the asses of, the guys whose asses that she is kicking... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's the guys whose asses she has kicked. Yes, there we go. Are speaking Russian. Mm. And then she speaks Russian and she's like, I speak Russian? Does she say that in Russian? She's thinking it. And I know Kung Fu. Right. Oh my God, she is now. This is the Matrix. But she also <laughs> that's knows. That's the movie. That's right. It's Matrix. <laughs> it's the Matrix. It's the Matrix. They do reference the she's Matrix. She's about to take the red pill or whatever. <laughs> and it's Russians. So it's the red pill. Red pill, red room, red black widow. And then she goes into the cupboard oh, and gets shit. the bomb she made. <laughs> she's like, nah. Okay. I, why did I save this? Why did I save this bomb? I, you always save a bomb. Right. Yeah. She's like, I guess I was saving it for this. So she repels from the roof and she has no weapons. So she's just got a nail gun. And she's... No, oh, oh. No, oh no. sorry. So she's just got a nail gun. She whips up a like makeshift axe that has the bomb attached to it. Oh. And she embeds it in the dude <laughs> and then throws him out the window and then he explodes outside. <laughs> Well, that's even better. That is a waste of that bomb. I it's agree. already on an axe. I the know. axe is the gonna axe kill kills him. him. Or the nail gun. Or the na- nail gun. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Because this is the dude that was holding her family hostage. Ah, uh, that's why he gets over. That's over-killed. why he gets overkilled. Yeah, because yeah. he was gonna do the kill shot. Yeah. So she, she goes to her family and she's like, "Hey, honey, I don't think I'm an architect." And he's <laughs> I'm like, "Sorry, I guess I'm not an architect." Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, no shit." Yeah. Well, what? whatever. <laughs> what are you, though? Right. Like, what the fuck? But then uh, the implant that was put in her neck mm. charges and she's knocked out. The uh, implant? Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah, they put it in. And the in, so the implant goes off. She falls unconscious and her memories get unlocked. So we're seeing a whole bunch of like oh. allusions to and references to stuff. And you know what looks hey, like look, she's on. there's Daredevil. Oh, there he is. 
But looks no like Spider-Man. She, looks like she's on a spider web. That's right. Look at this web. Black Widow, yeah. This yeah. is the web of her oh, memories. Oh, the Black Widow web. Yeah. That's yeah, also yeah. a spider. That's right. right. Yeah, she's like, spider themed. that sometimes. No spider powers. Yes. Or affiliation with Spider-Man. Mm. What are you talking about? She stings. That's right. Yeah, she's got the stinger. Yeah. And that's it. Literally nothing else. <laughs> You know what else stings? Bees. <laughs> yeah, spiders that's don't sting. Bee. Yeah. Spiders bite. <laughs> spiders bite, yeah. Yeah, what? Anyway. Oh, that's right. And I think that was supposed to be like the kill switch for that's her. Right. Where it's like, if she does wake up, you, you activate yeah. this thing and it kills her. That would make sense. You know sense. what kills you? A bomb in your neck. Yeah, I put agree. a bomb in there. But it's not. It was like a charge or something. And all it does is like unlock her memories and knock her out. But she's down. Oh, it's the thing that like sets her loose. Right. So her being like a spy... And having this secret life, I really thought her husband was going to be a part of it. Right, and be I like, so too. I'm yeah. sorry, honey. Like, yeah, yeah, it's Mr. Like Mrs. He's Smith. Attack her too. It's not Mr. And Mrs. Smith either. <laughs> no, he's he's just he's just a rube. No, yeah, I thought. But he then was where's part... the kid come from? Yeah, right. It, from them, they made this baby in three just, months. I just shoved him in there in a time box or something. No, <laughs> we'll get into the baby in a minute. All right. But I love it because yeah, I really thought he was gonna part, be part of the evil circle. Yeah, no, no, he's he's her he's fiance. Just talking, he's just some guy. Who got yeah, he's a chameleon. Right, yeah, you've been fucking me for three months. That's, That's kind of gross. It's got to be not gross. Can't be gross. Can't be gross. So right. anyway, uh, that happens and she falls unconscious. And <laughs> I love Madame Viper's like, you better hope this, you better hope she dies, lion, because otherwise I'm gonna shoot you right now because nah. you just ruined everything. So Viper, just shoot him. Yeah. So she, it's it's already over. You just feel like. You've killed us. Right. Blam. Yeah. So she wakes up. She remembers everything, but everything. It's not like she remembers her previous life, but loses the three months. Like right, she right. Got a, she's like, oh my God, like I'm Black Widow and I had a husband or fiance and a baby. Mm. And Yikes. I love, I love uh, the, the lion because he's like, that was, it was supposed to overload her brain and kill her. She's supposed to be a vegetable. And Madame Viper's like, okay, well, I'm going to go. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm out. Yeah, well, I'm going to go because she's going to find out who... She's going to know all of this and she's going to figure it out and she's going to kill us all. So, see you later. Good luck. I'm out. And, yeah. uh... And, and... Every man for themselves. Yeah. And Snapdragon's like, uh, you're Madam Viper. You're not going to, like, go into the witness protection program. We, we work together. Okay, so plan B is to kill her. So we just go to plan B. We all work together and we kill her now. And she's like, all right. <laughs> Damn it. No, Viper, you had the right idea. Yeah. Get out. Yeah, and I love... Because Lion goes, oh, now you like the killer plan. I thought we were all on the give her a happy retirement plan. Like, you fucked this up. Don't. But you ruined it. You, you fucked this up, man. It Come was you. like we're now like on your side. Yeah, no. You forced us on your side. Uh, we all still hate you. You douche. <laughs> Where are Clint and Bucky? Did did the babysitter, Helen, oh convince God, them not yeah. to watch the house? Right? No, they 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 yeah, get. Yeah, White Widow is not there. No, they get involved. Clinton Buckley oh, not there. Okay. It's just Black Widow, Blonde Widow. Yeah, I guess all right. You call her White Widow because otherwise you're gonna get, get confused. That's, but uh, she knows there's more people and they spring more agents. And because mm. Madame Viper is kind of like Queen Hydra, yeah. like she's got Hydra agents that she sends in okay, to kill her. Now yeah. Hydra agents are showing up. Like oh yeah, okay, the jig is up. Not yeah. only is the jig up, but like you're sending in Hydra agents. Yeah, come yeah. on, these right. are fodder. Yeah, please. <laughs> Yeah, d- nice try, Nick Spencer. No one's, no one's convinced that these guys are scary. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so Nat gets James and Steve, like, she's like, okay. Like, and she basically hatches a plan where she's like, you follow me, you move when I tell you. Like, mm-hmm. I, now that I've got all my memories back and everything, I'm, I'm full on spy. I can yeah. get us out of here alive. Right. Well, I can get you guys out alive. And he's like, you too. And she's like, right, yeah, me too. Because normally she's like, yeah, I'll die for the mission, whatever. Right. But right. it's like, now I have something to live for. Oh, fuck. Mm. So she like springs into action. She kicks the crap out of some hydrates and just destroys her house. There's one guy that's going to get her fiancé and baby. And White Widow springs in, Thank takes for, him out. Thank you for using that. No problem. Well, that way we don't get confused. <laughs> right. But uh, she takes... She takes that guy out. She gets the family together. Black Widow takes him to an old safe house that she had set up uh, in San Francisco. She's okay. like, "Is it underground?" Oh yeah, this should be the underground part. Yeah, right. I, I found. I got this from old like Shield notes. No, it's just yeah. a it's just a freaking warehouse or something or uh, a house. I don't know. It's just no. a just a room. But they're in there. The Black Widows and and Nat's family are in this kind of safe house, like hideaway place. Right. And that's where we can get some context. And uh, you know, Blonde Widow asks Black Widow like. What happened? Now that right. you remember everything, right? And so uh, Black Widow explains, like, when I fell, Madame Hydra and her Hydra floating like hovercraft caught me. Madam, we have this Madame Hydra or Madame Viper. Oh, Madame Viper. Okay. Well, sometimes she's called Madame. Oh, she, she's Viper or Madame Hydra. 
Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Not to be confused with another character who is also called Viper. Oh. You, you, you gotta go, man. You gotta, you gotta get out of here. This is... <laughs> God damn it. I love that the uh, flashbacks are done in this style. Yeah, it's like yeah, a comic book. It's like yeah. a cartoony. Yeah. Because this is kind of like a real situation. Yeah. And, like I mean, the entire book has been shown like with, I don't want to say modern art. No, but yeah. it is more like like modern comic books. Yeah. 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 Muted colors. Yeah. yeah. I do still love this, and I would read, and I would fun. love. No, I love this yeah. this art too, and I would love to see a full book like this. But yeah. it's it's like this is this is when the superhero shit happened. Yeah. 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 These uh, are her memories. Like look crazy costume characters. Exactly. Exactly. So. Oh, they did. They swooped in with a freaking hover. Yeah, yeah, they car. have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They caught her, yep. and then they inject her with this like memory. Well, there's this, this knockout ju- juice, yep. and I love it because they're like, "All right, give her more." They're like, oh no, so she's been darted. Yeah, and they caught her, and she's like, "All right, uh, Viper's like, give her more of the serum, like knock her out more." And one of the agents is like, "She, she took down like she got three darts. Right, it's enough to take down like a rhino." What are you talking about? She's like, "You are useless." Kicks him off the fucking Evercraft. <laughs> It's like, who is going to do this that believes in me? And he's like, me, I'll do it. Yeah, here you go. She's like, yeah, no, this chick wakes up from shit. No. Right. She's got stuff in her blood or something. Right. Whatever. Or it's just she's super just a trained spy. so yeah. she can wake up from getting darted. Right. So yeah. uh, then she woke up briefly in a lab. And so we see her memory of the lab and mm. she's there. The guy who would be James, her fiance, is also in the lab. Ah, so he was a is he the guy plant. that got kicked off? No, that'd be amazing if he was. Yeah, yeah he's the high oh, yeah, you love her so much now. You're married to him. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be amazing. In any case, this is just—he's a pretty guy who is also like knocked out yeah. and given like you know. So memory he also doesn't know. He doesn't know. So yeah. oh. okay, that's Whoa. that's crazy. Yeah. The fact that they grabbed some random person off the street, yeah. erased his memories, right. yeah. and now he is also like in this, in this, and he doesn't know that he's in this yet. Yeah, like right. he doesn't know his previous life. No. He wasn't awoken. No, no, that's right. And they use the genetic sequences of him and her and clone a baby. Wow, that is intricate. I know. It's, I mean, it's a Black Widow book. If this were an Avengers book, it'd be like, that's a lot for one character in the Avengers. But it's like, <laughs> it's her story. Yeah. It's her villains. These are all people she's either killed or beaten before. Right. And they're working together to be like, we got to get her off the table. And we got to give her, like, she's a spy. Like, there might be some, like, old shit in there that might, like, unlock. Like, Viper won't leave anything to chance. Mm-hmm. But she's like, this this chick is tough. We gotta, we gotta make it real. We gotta give her some stakes in this. Right. Give her everything she's ever wanted. Yep. Or maybe That's wanted. the only way she'll stop. Yes. Yes. So for three months, like they have their life, and they but move. even that doesn't work. No. No. So she's putting this all together, and she's like, "Okay, who's behind this? There could be anyone in the Marvel universe who hates me. So <laughs> right. I don't know." Like a baboon. Yeah. And so she's talking to to James, and she's like, "So here we are," and he's like. Okay, and she's like, "This is the really part. This is the really hard part for me." And he's like, "Well, then don't don't say it. Don't don't admit no. what we're about to go through." And she's like, "No, like, you have to go away. You have to take the baby and leave me forever because like I am Black Widow now. People will know that Black Widow has a family and they'll try to kill you, and it's just horrible." Does right. she tell him that he is also mind wiped? Yeah, he knows. Okay. Yeah, yeah he's like, yeah. "Okay, but like, this is my life." He's like, like, "Yeah, I don't care." Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm like, fucking I'm Black Widow. I have this beautiful baby and a big expensive house. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, that turns out you're a super spy. That's even hot yeah I'm I'm more turned on than ever <laughs> look I was in before yeah. right and now I'm down and you were so in and you were just an architect right I mean not just, not just an architect, an architect. <laughs> you know I'm, mess- I'm messing this all up yeah let's start from the beginning hi I'm, hi, I'm James. James maybe <laughs> or whatever or whatever you want uh, James is good yeah just, Although, to, just don't call me late for dinner <laughs> no. I always kind of felt like a Clint and she's like no 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 <laughs> anyway all right so she's trying to get rid of him yes and uh you know. No, I can't be happy. Bye. Right, and, I, and I can't be near you, and oh. I can never be in your lives. And he's like, nope, I'm not going to do that. He's like, and no, then, that's, that's fucking dumb. Yeah, and so Helen slash White Widow gets Bucky and uh, Hawkeye involved, and they're like, hello. Hi. We're also here now. We're I'm here. sorry we missed the stuff at the that's, house. We yeah. were getting dinner. Yeah. Right, we were, we were at Arby's. But, uh, San Francisco, I, can't they go anywhere nice? <laughs> right? No. Uh, actually, they'd be a, we, we went to Carl's Jr., uh, we went to uh, Arnie's, but whatever. Whataburger. Oh, uh, 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 what's that shit? In and Out. In and Out. Yeah. yeah. We, went to, we were at In and Out. We were never in the West Coast. I gotta tell you, I've been in In and Out. 
Yeah? That's fine. Wholly overrated. Mm. I'll take five guys any old day of the week. Oh, really? Yeah. No. No. I've never Sorry. been to an announce, so. I mean, you know, try it, because every because when you go, whoever lives there <laughs> is going to, like... Blackjack you and take you. Right. And you've never been to an In and Out. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me you've never had utterly disposable <laughs> cheap hamburgers from a fast food joint that is an inexplicably long line? No, I've never done that. What? <laughs> and you know you got to go from the secret menu. You oh. got to have. You can't just no. have. I mean, you got to have a regular no. one, but you got to get one with the with the pickles. Like that's <laughs> like the people in New York who are like, you got to go to Shake Shack and yeah. the freaking Sh- shit. Oh, time. you mean the one in Parsippany? Yeah, I think I can go to Shake Shack. No, no, no. We're talking no, about no, Central no. Park, the, the original. Yeah, the yeah. Ori- no. no, don't worry. It's only about two hours right. before you can order. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's. Uh, I gotta tell you, that sounds horrible. That sounds awful, <laughs> especially if I'm in New York where I can have. I can pass a thousand restaurants that are made by four-star Michelin chefs <laughs> to get to the fucking Shake Shack. That's like the East Coast to be like, you've never been to a Sonic? <laughs> you've never been to a Sonic? <sighs> Let me tell you something, though. We When we got a Sonic, we did go. And it was like, uh It's fine. It's like yeah. I went through a drive through Yeah, except you didn't drive. You parked. Yeah, I still drove to it, though. Yeah. I ate in my car. Yeah, but a person came out on roller skates or whatever. Did they have roller skates there? They did not. Oh. They but didn't they do come out on roller your skates? Car. No, but they do come up to the car. I love that. Just like, yeah, you can, I mean, you can go to a deli or like, you know, a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, just go just order the food and bring, bring it out to your car. car. Alone. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's not an event. Yeah. No. And you can't get more. That's true. That's the thing yeah. at Sonic. You can get more. <laughs> After you've gotten the initial food. You just call them again. <laughs> yeah. You can get more Hey, food. get back here. I need more fries. <laughs> hey, I want more. More. <laughs> get me more. <laughs> and they just make like an assortment bag. And just, here you go, you there fat you fuck. Enjoy your, your goddamn more. more. <laughs> now put cheese all over just it. Just fill it with cheese. Just, just whatever you have. Fill the bag and then cover if it If I cheese. didn't want more, I could have gone to fucking Wendy's. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which you should have done in the first place. <laughs> when you want more. <laughs> Get Sonic. Well, you are high as fuck. <laughs> you are high as fuck and need more. When you forget you ordered after eating an entire bag of food, you can get more. Wait. I can get more. <laughs> more? I didn't leave. That's their commercial. Man, this was great, but I wish I had more. You could get more. You could get more. Just open your window again what? and ask the, <laughs> ask the radio. Ding, to get you, you more. just roll your window down and ask for more. And just shout the food you wanted to eat. And some child in roller skates will bring it to you. I had like four slushies. More. Just more. More. More food. Like a rat in a maze. <laughs> I've solved it. That sucks. <laughs> Man, we gotta get Sonic to sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> when you, <laughs> what a great commercial. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. They're planning their big like action sequence in the warehouse. Right. They're planning How? the end of the book. Yeah, they're planning the end of the book. What do you mean? No, like, we gotta we gotta flush out whoever's done this and we gotta yeah. defeat them. Oh, here's okay. here's thought, a plan of this place, yeah. like in Home Alone, and we're gonna get put, the like, jacks yeah, and the paint. Gonna, uh, thing with feathers and glue and yep. put something hot on the door handle. Yeah, yep. yep. Maybe a nail gun. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. I don't know why. I should have. The baby's tired, so like you know, the the team they're all in like one. They're in like the they're in the command center oh. of this warehouse. Mm-hmm. It should and just be a one uh, room yeah. building where it's there's not. like they they put the baby. Oh, we gotta play it quiet. Yeah. Okay. Don't no, they put him. They they they're all in one room. Uh, they put the baby down. Uh, James is also tired. This is hours later. Yeah. Like, so it's like <laughs> James, the civilian, is tired. That's right. Yeah. But yeah. James is tired. Not to be accused of James, the Winter Soldier. James Fuck. is tired Baby's tired And they and so Nat like Puts them in another room And they're just in there And he's like hey Like you know And he says like I, My life is a nightmare and He says to Nat Before she like mm-hmm. Goes into You know the other room He's like my life is a nightmare But like I'm, I'm incredibly lucky That we had what we had Even for a minute And she's like I was the lucky one When she leaves uh, Someone fires a bazooka Into that room And kills James and the baby Oh my god and, Holy uh, shit, man! Okay, yeah. so that sucks. You've cleaned yeah. up the problem of having Nat worry about a fiance and, and a baby, a baby. Mm-hmm. a baby that is hers. Yeah, wow. yeah, it is so, genetically hers. Like, but like, holy shit! Yeah. So we see, like, you know, her life coming apart and be, her being held by like the two dudes who've had sex with her before, <laughs> and uh, and we, they're like, "This is okay." Why would they blow up the baby? You know, and the fuck you. What? I mean, she was we're in the room guys. for a second. She was in the room Did for a second. Did they think they were going to get her too? I think it was more just like, 
let's 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 fuck her up. Let's let's get a real mad. Yeah. Let's give her nothing to lose. So then when <laughs> she then when she kills us, she'll do it like slow. Yeah, yeah she'll do it horribly. <laughs> Maybe like, if we get her crazy enough and, and angry enough, she'll be, she'll be sloppy. sloppy. No. Right. No. Uh, no. I don't think that's going to work. No. Uh-uh. But we see this flashback to like when she took uh, James and the baby to the zoo. They make a reference and... This should have been earlier in the book. No, no, no. This no. is like we're, we're establishing like those three months, those were real. They yeah. did that shit. They went to the zoo. The baby's afraid of giraffes because they're scary. Because they're huge. Yeah, because yeah. they're huge. And she's, yes, he's, he's big. she's big, but she's gentle. And uh, they and we see, you know, like they they went to see the seals and feed them, and they rode the carousel. She, the, you know, Steve wants to go faster on the carousel. She's like, mm-hmm. ha, ha, ha. James is trying to like get, well, not James, but you know, James Buchanan Bucky. Barnes is trying yeah. to get her up. He's like, come on, we gotta go, we gotta move. And uh, and Clint's just like catatonic. He's like, this sucks. This fucking sucks. This is fucking horrible. Oh my god, I can't believe it just fucking happened. Yeah. And uh, and and White Widow's like, yo, like we don't have time for this, and she just smacks. Nat a couple times she's like right. the people who murdered your fiance and baby are coming to kill you you need to get you need to get focused and just smack her and then that's what like snaps her out of it and they're just like let's go so you know as they're leaving they had this they had this conversation in bed with the baby mm-hmm. earlier where she called Steve a duckling and so Steve started saying duck and they're all talking about ducks and he had a rubber duck and it's on fire Natalie picks it up and just holds it mm-hmm and uh, that's like the last remnants of her old life, and she goes with uh, with Bucky. Uh, Weeping Lion, of course, is the one who, you know, set that up. Because he's an idiot. Does he explain why he deliberately targeted oh, her family? That's his move. He's just like, <laughs> I thought that'd be good. And I love it because uh, Viper yeah. is like, it's a it's a villain move. I like, just kill wanted, her family, yeah, right? yeah, I just wanted to fuck with her. Yeah, and Viper goes, it's insane to me that you think the Black Widow has any intention of leaving after we murdered her family. <laughs> right. Like. You gave me the go-ahead. You told me to do it. And she's like, yeah, because you pushed me here. Mm. No. If I had my druthers, those people would still be alive. So uh, Snapdragon and Red Guardian are ready to, to do their part. They, they descend down into like the area where they're going to attack them. But of course, it's a, it's a kill box for them. Right. <laughs> Struck by uh, Barton. Snapdragon's down. Uh, you know, I love it because like Snapdragon pulls out her swords and she's fighting her, and Black Widow just shoots her in the leg and goes, "Should have brought a gun." <laughs> <laughs> they uh, they shoot Alexi through the arm, and he's like, "Hey, listen, like I was never with them. I just need I when I I needed to know what their plan was, and when I found out what your pl- what their plan was. I wanted to make sure that it didn't involve like killing you. And when I heard that it was like a good retirement plan, I was like, yeah, like." I knew you needed someone that cared about you on the inside. And she's like, I believe you. That's why you're not dead. Mm. Now get the fuck out of here. You and me are going to have words one day, but uh, I can't afford to have you Why didn't you stop them from killing my family? Well, I didn't know that was the plan. Uh, like, they left me out of it. Uh, Barton also shoots uh, uh, Crouching Tiger. What's his name? <laughs> Snap. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Barton shoots Weeping Lion, Weeping Lion through the scope into the eye. Yeah. Uh, damn. By the way, it doesn't go into his brain, he doesn't die. He doesn't die. He just oh, loses his eye, I know. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna say, this is like uh, Enemy at the Case. Ah, yes! Oh, that's oh, the movie! Yeah. Which is not the movie. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that could possibly be like Enemy at the Gate in this book. <laughs> that's right. Hey! She's Russian. That's true! Uh, yeah. She's an unconvincing Russian. Like everyone oh, in Enemy right. at the Gate. Yeah. So Hawkeye is all the British law. people. Yeah. And Ed Harris. Boy, that was... Yeah. Rachel Weisz. Yeah, that was uh. rough. Rachel Weisz, hey, she's playing a Russian in the Black Widow movie. Oh, yeah. So she gets to do another bad Russian accent. Maybe she's had, she had 20 years to try it again. I think she actually was the most convincing actor. Probably. Anyway, no, Hawkeye Bob fires. Hoskins was oh. the most convincing. Mm. Well, Bob Hoskins, Academy Award winning actor and was in Roger Rabbit. So anyway, uh, uh, Clint, you know, he's firing arrows. They take everybody down. They blow up the building and they're just like, okay, cool. That's it. We did it. Yeah. Did we they beat... take care of Viper? Viper fucking bailed. Yeah. Smart. Viper was gone before the shooting started. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was like, like that's enough. Kid. She's like, nope. Nope. I sent my, uh, she sent the Hydra agents so the people were like, Viper, you fool, you pulled your resources. Nope. Just, okay, bye. <laughs> I should have left earlier. Yep. I'm definitely leaving yeah. now. I should have left earlier. <laughs> so, they, you know, they win and uh, Clint's like, listen, Nat, do you want somebody to like come home with you and like talk and stuff? And she's like, no. <laughs> no, I'm good. So, she, oh, uh, during the whole fight, Winter Soldier was not there. Hmm. And they're like, where's Winter Soldier? All the people who are like, all the antagonists, like, they're like, I, I, I got eyes on a Hawkeye, but I don't know where the fuck Winter Soldier is. He's going to kill me, isn't he? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, me not being there was psyching him out. Yeah. You're welcome. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. it was, that's it was, my plan. Yeah. It's just him on his phone. <laughs> but, uh, so Nat's in a safe house, and she's just, just alone with her with herself. Mm-hmm. Winter Soldier shows up, and he's like, hey. And she's like, tell me what's up. And he's like, they're safe. We set up holographic technology to make it look like James and the baby were in, in that room. Oh, but Winter Soldier took cool. James and the baby and put them in a safe house. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Nice. But... Like, they still need to be dead. Like, they need to have been convinced by right. the people who created them in the first place that, they don't. that they're dead, yeah. and and Nat can't have any contact with them. Like, they need to, for all intents purposes, be dead, which is why Nat had that kind of reaction. She's a good actor, but also, she knows this is the last time she'll ever see them again. Mm. So, so, like, it's acting, but it's also not acting. Yeah, because she knows, yeah. like, for, for, for her, they're dead. Yeah. This is both good and bad. Like, there's no, there, this is a no-win scenario. Yes. Yeah. Because you can't keep them alive without complicating her life. No. But you also can't kill them without it being complicating really fucking her sad. life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, without it being devastating. <laughs> yeah. Without her, like, losing. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. she would lose. Yeah, like, what like, a triumph. Like fact- we give her a new book yeah. for her movie and watch her greatest failure. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Uh, yeah. Damn it. But that's also really good writing. Yeah. Exactly, and uh, and she knows like this is this is just I, I like I was a predator I was a shark like I did this thing and I had no and I will, I'll die in my missions like it's it's fine I do my thing but like I have a family like I have a child mm. like they, I, it completely fucked me up yeah and so she's fucked up for like more books but like but yeah so she like collapses and Winter Soldier holds her and then she goes back to her old house she's like I shouldn't even fucking be here. Mm. But she picks up Logan, the cat. Mm. Hey, she gets to keep the cat. She gets to keep the cat. But, uh, you know, she's sitting on her, like, front step with the cat. And she's thinking about how she's, like, watching the sun set. And how somewhere, James and Steve are also watching the same sunset. Mm. And, like, Did James they... and Steve live in the... Some, somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. In a nice house, but not nearly as nice as the house they had. Right. Well, yeah, uh, no, they're, they're in hiding. House. They're in uh, witness protection. Right, exactly. And, uh, yeah. There's also a moment where uh, Clint has this back and forth with, uh, with, with Natalie, where he's, like, upset because every part of her life, in her perfect life, there was no Clint Barton representation. Mm. Like, you even have a yep. cat named Logan. Yeah. Logan! 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 Right? Come on! You're kidding me! Yeah, yeah, come on. And it's like, yo, Matt didn't have a fucking character in this life either, man. Yeah. But like, you're she, not the only one who got yeah. shut out. But she goes like... Who the hell cares about Daredevil? He's not even in this Yeah, he's life. not even here! Yeah. I'm here, I showed up! Yeah. It's like, Where's my cat? <laughs> Where's my cat? He's like, I had a dog. Clint would want a dog. Yeah. He had to put him down. He sucked. <laughs> he had cancer. He bit the, he bit the baby. <laughs> 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 oh, there we go. Worse. He was too fucking territorial. He didn't know his place. Oh, oh, no, no, no. yeah. Oh, that's oh. that cuts deep. Oh, yeah. that must have been a really sad experience for you guys. The vet. What no. vet? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Dan! <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> anyway, so then, uh, uh, you know, Black Widow's gonna gonna do some mission, and uh, uh, Yelena is like. I'll go with you because I go with you in the movie. And so the two of them <laughs> spring into action in this cool, like, new uh, outfit that Black Widow has, which I'm like, yeah, it is a cool new outfit. I like that. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, it's got some, like, cool neon lights on the side and a hood. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what spies need is to lose their peripheral vision. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is Tron Legacy. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Tron Legacy is fucking awesome. <laughs> and also, it's her outfit in the movie. It's just that in the movie, despite the fact that her <laughs> main color associations are red and black... It's blue. Oh. You know, in Avengers Age of Ultron, when she gets, like, the cool new Avengers costume, like, it all lights yeah. up. It's all blue. I'm like, what the hell? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're mixing your fucking colors. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> she should have been able to do that where, like, they ma- they all make the suits. Yeah. And, like, she comes in and the lights on hers are red. And they're like, hey, you fuck with your suit. She's like, yeah. Yeah. It's red. What was, what, what, what was her response to Clint when he was like, what oh, the fuck? She's oh, she's like, like, she goes, I didn't name them. <laughs> Oh. And like, I, I, but I appreciate the fact that you want to be part of my life. Mm. Like, I get your weird problem, and I, I guess it's complimentary. Right. But like, you know, 
wrong fucking place, wrong fucking time. She doesn't say that, but like she might as well. Well, it really bothers me that your villains didn't think I was important enough to name any of the fake things in your life after me. Right. You know, I just it's just kind of fucking weird. It's like, no, this. <laughs> this is that's weird. not weird. weird. This is weird. You made it weird. You're weird. What yeah. was the movie? Oh, it was The Long Kiss Goodnight. <laughs> I never saw that movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What yeah, happens to that memory. movie? Yeah, Gina Davis is a spy. She loses her memory. She gets, like, she goes into uh, Does she get put the into domestic a... life. Uh. Her husband and child don't know. Was it engineered by her okay. enemies? Okay. I don't remember. No. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Black Widow. Black Widow. In theaters it's now. Black Widow. Black Widow. What's the title of this one? Uh, it's, it's Black Widow. Black, Black Widow. The Ties That Bind. There you go. <laughs> Black Widow. Check it out and uh, pick it up because it's a great volume and uh, it's a fun it's introduction to the character. Probably yeah. a quick read too. Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's, shoot it's fun. Yeah, it is fun. So check it out and we'll see you guys next time with another episode. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So long. Nail gun! <laughs> you didn't gun. see that one. I did not. I definitely <laughs> did not see that guy. Damn it! <laughs> Nail gun. Did I do it right? Did I do it right?